I just I didn't understand why he put it. That's nice to put. Well, probably for the students that's number one, right? And uh, probably they're gonna say how much they enjoyed it or not. But after <laughs> all, they joined the internship with our lab, Pet Lab, which is that's actually developing uh, all sorts of interactive media for. Uh, for learning, for uh, enjoyable learning, right? So this is what was their, their task in interactive media. And some of these projects are further developed within this internship. And uh, one of our main projects is to produce uh, e-learning for the international students. So here we just started from zero and we started brainstorming with the students asking, what are your needs here in university to learn better and more enjoyable? And we started brainstorming and finally we put together a page which is called We Learn. And we put all kinds of technology together which will sort of facilitate how students will learn a little bit better. And we are giving them all kinds of supports and we're building up all kinds of education uh, software that they can also enjoy learning. So Eric, what are you doing? Okay, I'm, I'm working on... I'm involved with a little bit of everything about the website, so whenever people need to publish something, change something, whatever. And then I'm quickly <coughs> testing it and I'm always complaining uh, about, oh, this is not aligned to that. So before you even complain, I'm, I'm complaining to, you know, I'm kind of the, the annoying beta tester or something. Yeah, for the website. but this is a critical, a critical person because you were the only one who said you don't want to use this kind of application. Exactly. And now you're involved in this project and have to develop these kind of applications and put it together. So that's great. Critical mind is very important. And you can see that I didn't bring my laptop, so eventually I won't bring it, so mm -hmm. I'm forced to work with this. You're only working with this. That's it. Very good. Uh, actually, we are developing a kind of virtual tour for the biology museum in front of the lab. And the, we are trying to make this nice environment that you, you can see on the screen. Yes. You can navigate through these arrows, if you click, you go to a different environment. And our idea is to cover the whole museum and nice try to put some hotspots to get some extra information about the exhibitions. And it's really interesting because you can get to know the museum even if you don't go there. <laughs> to cover the whole museum and it's really nice. Actually anything that we do with such nice person, it's interesting. <laughs> ah, that's great. Well, I'm happy about that. Okay, Jardesan, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm, I see myself more like a helping hand here because I use the tablet to see how things are working or to use exclusively on the tab the apps and everything. So I, I, I see myself more like someone working exclusively because m the guys they bring the laptops to work here and to program the laptop, the website. But I'm trying to do everything with the tablet, more to see how it feels or to give some feedback about the apps and the website, how they work in small screen size like this. And it's something like that. And helping when someone needs a help. Oh, I'm supporting the guys with the website that we are doing, we are making it and we are, since the beginning we are studying and reading things to see how things are going on e-learning around the world, how are the trends of this area and then we make up this website discussing and working on it. Uh, I started the International Students, it is a, a virtual version of the university and it has the, the, the posters of some projects that are going on on the, the university right now so the international students can see what's happening and what kind of projects are these people are working with. So this is an Android application where the students can walk through the corridors of the university. This.